Hi, this is Donnie Claxton, and I'm with Claxton Creative here in Dallas, Texas. We're a, a manufacturer of iBooks for uh, the iPad. And some of the things we've been really learning, one of the greatest tools we've found so far is Tumult Hypes, um, interactive uh, developer and, and widget creator. And one of the th great things they've been able to do with their program is to enable us to, to embed audio files within iBooks authors so that they then appear in iBooks on the iPad. But one of the things I found is uh, from this July tw uh, 2nd, uh, 2012 uh, post from Tumult Hype is that they've actually left off of several key steps in making it very, very easy in which to, to create these um, widgets that have audio files that will play on your iPad. So they go through and they have some great instructions here. And, and one of the first things they do tell you to do is open up. Um, they recommend through Audacity. I've actually found the easiest way is simply to open a folder, a audio file. And when I do this, I always make sure that the, there are no spaces in the characters and the name of the file. I found that has, for some reason, been a um, causes a hang up. But I go in, open the file. Um, this one's called Alley VM2. I take it. It's a WAV file. But to play in iBooks Author, it actually has to be, as it's noted here, an M4A. So you simply go up to export, um, it will default to audio only, and it's going to change this to the M4A. Does that, matter of seconds, boom, it's done. And there it is on my desktop. So now we're ready to jump into Hype. So what I do is I take this M4A file and I take it, and I do not put it onto the scene space here. I just actually dump it off to the side where you can't see it. And then there you see it pops up as Alley VM2. Uh, um, one of the things I have found to do is to go in and actually just change the name of it. And then for some reason, I just go with video. That's one of the things that was in some of the displays that uh, Tumult Hype has sent out. Uh, you go up here to the inspector. I actually take out where it says display name. And you go into this unique element piece and you give it a number. And I'm just going to make this one an 11. So I have a great friend here and a great picture of my friend Allie that I like to do. We actually have a voicemail message of her that's, that's fun to listen to. So um, that's what I'm embedding and tying to this, this photograph that's going to go into a demonstration book piece. So I now have um, Allie's photo here. Um, you can see it's here on the timeline, main timeline. Um, and it's popping up. It has a display name, which is fine. I'm going to go in and I'm going to give it a unique element ID, which is just 12. Um, just pulled it out of no, um, nowhere. Has absolutely, I can find no connotation or meaning to why it's there. So I'm going to go in. I'm going to leave the automatic um, settings for the cursor there. But I'm going to go down to run JavaScript. And when I do that, I'm going to go down to um, from none, and I'm going to go to new function. And this window, this dialog window, pops up. Um, this is great and wonderful. But I'm going to change the name of it to. Um, Alley VM 2 um, and leave that and then if you go back to Tumult's website it says that you're supposed to embed uh, this little piece of text here or code so I'm going to grab that copy it paste it and go back over to hype and it goes between the bracket I mean the forward slash and the bracket and I'm just going to simply go here paste it and then I'm going to change the sound uh, one back to that unique ID that we had given the audio file to number 11 and simply go in here and I'm done but I want to go up here to this untitled video so you just simply simply hit the hide scenes change it um, you highlight the area would you, like you would um, <laughs> any other piece there we go and I'm gonna change this to Alley VM 2 boom it's done now um, if you go back to Tumult's website and you look at their instructions that's where it says you're done. Um, but there's a problem. If you just take this file as it is now and you try to drop it into a widget and you go over here to create a widget, you drop in the widget into iBooks Author and you take that file. If you were just to um, export now and drop it in, uh, it would not play. Here's what um, Tumult left off in the instructions. You have to go here to this export as HTML and you create this folder. And forget, I've never all this stuff here isn't really mattering to me at this point. So I just go in here, I name it Alley, A-L-L-V-M-2, and I'm going to save this folder onto my desktop. And there you go. You can see it's popped up there. If you open it up, and you will see there's this resources file. And it's got 
uh, the PNG, which is her photo. It's got the JavaScript. It's got the audio file, the Hype.js file, and this Pi HTC. Nothing there to really worry about. One thing you got to go back to do now, though, is you got to go back to the export as HTML5. Go to the dashboard slash iBooks um, author widget creator and rename it. Uh, or name it actually Ally VM2. Boom. We're done. And there it's going to pop up as this widget on my desktop. So what we're going to do, um, now we've got this uh, resources folder. We're going to go in, we're going to take the widget itself, and we're going to drop it into that folder. That's critical that I have found that is to be a critical step. Now I can go into iBooks Author. I've got the widget created. The widget space is ready for it. And here I just grab the widget with um, and what it's doing when I do that is it's grabbing these resource files. It's t it knows it's talking to this picture, um, and it knows it needs this VM, uh, VM2 M4A folder. And that is simply all I have to do. Um, my iPad is attached to my um, computer. It's now loading over, and I will show you um, in the next segment um, how that works. And so, as promised, here is the uh, the... The widget on the screen, if you click on it, it taps it up and pops it open. And there she is. That's all it took to do that. You can make this image. I'll make her stop talking. There we go. Okay, thanks, Allie. Okay, so then you can go in. You can change the size on the uh, of the photograph. You can go back into um, the computer, go back into iBooks Author um, on there, and as you load in the uh, layout you can get rid of the uh, caption there you can get rid of the background um, you can also um, actually even get rid of the title so that what you have on the screen is just the photograph and then when I um, click on it get rid of that dialog box you can see it's just simply the only thing sitting there on the screen